Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on a Rolex GMT Master II, also known as the Batman model that I picked up last year. Um, I had uh, a friend who worked at a well-known jeweler here at uh, in Carmel, California. When I first called the jeweler, uh, they kind of laughed at me and, and they said, uh, GMT Master II, we're looking at a four to five year wait period. Um, but fortunately, uh, my friend who was uh, part of the finance uh, team gave me a call back and said, hey, we actually have one that we uh, keep for people that we know. Um, so kind of an inside, uh, you know, access there. So I'll let you know that, you know, jewelers uh, sometimes do keep special pieces um, in reserve uh, and uh, they may not necessarily be available to the uh, general public at large. Uh, so it's good to be persistent or to uh, perhaps know someone um, uh, that works for that jeweler. So, um, okay, without further ado, let's do a quick review of this, uh, of this beautiful watch. Uh, comes in this box. Um, most uh, recent Rolexes come in this uh, with that Rolex crown on there. Um, and opens up it's got a leatherish looking box here uh, again with the rolex logo they're pretty big on that because uh, um, they're they're well known so they kind of push that and you have that on the inner lip of the box as well um opens up like so like Nothing too crazy going on there to reveal the, the watch. So that's the, um, the Rolex GMT Master II uh, Jubilee bracelet. Um, I decided to get the one uh, with the Jubilee bracelet. There's one that has the Oyster bracelet that's, uh, that's a little bit more uh, blocky uh, in the bracelet um, part there. This is the Jubilee bracelet, so you can see the links are um, individual over there and I love the uh, the blue and the black uh, I really do um, I think that's a good combo and it's a patented uh, ceramic setting design there that uh, that Rolex has used these are two separate pieces apparently um, if you can focus in on that Let's see if we can Get it on that there. Two separate pieces that are uh, so well machined or, or uh, hand uh, hewn that they come together uh, seamlessly. So the, the black and the blue are two separate uh, individual pieces there. Um, so that's the, the watch there. This is the bracelet, uh, has that. Rolex crown on there as well. I've worn it a little bit. It's been a daily wearer for me. Uh, you open up the, I was informed that the way to open up a clasp, uh, you know, if you've had a Rolex for a little bit is to open it up in that way, it just pops open. Um, as opposed to the, you know, trying to mess with a little crown there, you get your finger in there and, you know, perhaps break a nail. So um, yeah, just kind of, that and then just pops right open and there there's your watch open um, okay now to adjust it uh, it's a the first first unscrew here is to wind the watch okay so this is the, the first unscrew wind the watch second one moves the hour hand, which also sets the date. Okay, so the date moves as well. And the third out here moves the minute hand, which also then moves the GMT uh, hand as well. And then um, you always wanna make sure that you screw it all the way back down the um, uh, you want to screw this all the way back down so it's watertight because if you don't apparently uh, the jeweler informed me that the back cases where uh, people bring in 
a watch that's got water in there, and that's a, that's an issue. So you don't want to you don't want to do that. You want to screw it down all the way. Uh, so yeah, that's the that's the timepiece over there. Let me see where I can get this to focus just right. It's got a beautiful movement, and uh, see the bezel, um, unidirectional. wondering about these horrendous looking scratches on my arm that's from my uh my Rhodesian Ridgeback Nala she greet, greets me sometimes uh very effusively um and just kind of scratches me up and that's the thickness of the case and it wears really well I gotta put it on right And that's the that's the way it wears. The Jubilee. Yeah, I just I just love that black and uh, black and blue combo. I mean, it's really awesome. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. I have a painting behind me. That's one of my paintings. Uh, I like to paint as well. Um, so, anyways. Um, Thanks for checking me out, uh, and uh, please like and subscribe uh, if you find my content interesting at all. Thank you, and bye-bye.